Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. If you have a Ford vehicle guys, pretty much any Ford vehicle past, uh, I would say 2011-12 guys, and you're wondering, okay, where your TPMS sensor is located, this is the tire pressure monitor sensor guys, and how to replace it, stay with us guys, we'll explain everything from start to finish guys. Quick introduction, as you know guys, we have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can, so please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys. Now, uh, this wheel is out of a Ford Focus guys, this is a 2013 Ford Focus and we'll explain what needs to be done to replace the TPMS sensor. Now, in some cases, on uh, some Fords it may require programming the new sensor, in some cases you don't have to, uh, and uh, we have the video uh, on the channel guys for most forks how to manually activate the new sensors Okay, there is a special procedure. So check it out. Okay, how to reset TPMS uh, sensor on Ford uh, We have it on the channel guys. So this is it here guys. Okay looking at the wheel. Let me show you You're not going to suspect any TPMS sensors guys. Okay, just looking at it. You will never notice anything Check it out. It's just a regular valve stem. If I spin the tire the other way on the inside, okay, let me show you quick here what it may say. Okay, it says sensor may be inside. So you have to be extremely careful when you change your tires too. Now we'll explain what needs to be done, okay, to actually uh, remove that sensor and replace it if you need to. First, you need to remove your tire, guys. If you need to buy a tire changer and balancer, guys, check out the link in the description of the video. Those are amazing and they're not very expensive at all. I would definitely, guys, recommend them. Amazing set. So, first of all, okay, we'll need to let the air out of it. That's the first step. So, we get the two to remove the valve stem needle. Let it deflate guys and uh, we'll be ready to continue in just a second. Now, most of the new Ford vehicles guys past 2010, the sensor is located on the valve stem and we'll explain how in a second. Uh, it used to be on the other Fords, it used to be 180 degrees from the valve stem, it was mounted actually on the wheel with a metal strap, on the newer ones it's on the valve stem. So when you break the bead loose, okay the bead is the side of the tire guys, Okay, never ever apply any uh, bead force here guys, because you will break your sensor. Go about 90 degrees from the sensor. Okay, and I'll need to move the uh, balancing machine a little bit because I do not have enough room. So we just need to scoot it a little bit. And I want to show you quick something guys. We're just using a small compressor here. A 6 gallon compressor that does the job amazing for home use guys. Okay, we we'll have that one listed in the description of the video below. It's super fast compressor and it pumps all the way to 165 PSI, so it does amazing for that job, guys. Now, I'm going to go ahead, okay, break the bead loose now. Let me show you. Okay, it's almost done. I'll just go a little bit on this side now. Never ever do the valve stem, remember? Perfect. This one is ready. Now I'll go on the back side. Valve stem is right here. So that's the area that I need to avoid. So I don't cause any damage to it. Okay. Now I need to go a little bit more. Perfect. And I just need to hit it one more time, again, to be away from the valve stem or you have to stop immediately, but I try to be away. That way I don't cause any damage if I mishandle it or something. Okay, this tire is loose. Now, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to close this, put the wheel on. And now guys, let me show you what I'll be doing. Okay, we'll stay from this side here. So, it's important guys, okay, to bring the arm here. Okay, I'm going to adjust it to be by the wheel. But not to be touching the wheel so I don't scratch it. Perfect. And now, you can see that valve stem is right here. So I need to go just a little bit before the valve stem. 
Careful not to poke, okay, the TPMS sensor, okay, and it should be the first pole that goes up, okay, like that. So that way we will not cause any damage to the TPMS sensor, guys, okay, and check it out now. So we're going to spin it. Okay, perfect. Now I will go, I will come this way again. Okay, like that. Now let me show you right here, inside, this is your sensor. So this one will be the first thing to come out now. I'm going to go like that right before the valve stem. Okay, check it out now, it's underneath, right there guys. That way we will not cause any damage. Perfect. Now, we can go ahead, remove the wheel, the tire, excuse me. We can bring the, okay, sensor here. And what we need to do at that point, guys, okay, we just have one, okay, one screw with torques, okay, that we need to remove. And once we remove that screw, we'll be able to pull that sensor out. So, uh, this is a very, very small torx. Okay, it looks like it's a torx 10, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's a 10 because this too is a 15 torx 15 and it didn't do it. So, let me see which one is better. Okay, with the light is way better, so you can see better. So, let's go ahead, remove that one now. Okay, and we'll see what else you need to do. I would recommend to put a new valve stem, okay, if you, uh, if you do that because sometimes they'll start leaking. If it's older, replace it guys. If it's not, just uh, uh, leave it. If it's newer, just leave it. Sometimes uh, those will get damaged when people replace your tires at tire shops. They will not be careful. You also have a battery inside. The battery will go dead once in a while. And as a result, it can quit working uh, for that reason too. So we'll go ahead and screw that bolt now. Okay, and this is guys your TPMS sensor out of the way. Now the battery that I said, it's right here inside. Okay, I just dropped the screw to you, but uh, unfortunately guys, you cannot remove it. Now, the new sensor when you get it, okay, write all the numbers on it, okay, because you might need it later for programming if you cannot manually activate it. Okay, you can see all the numbers here, you will need to put those, and uh, once you do that, guys, okay, right here you have part numbers and all that stuff, write everything down, take pictures, because you may need it uh, later for programming. So we'll go ahead, get a new one, and show you how to install it now. So we get a new sensor, okay, we need to make sure that it goes in correctly. Ah, it comes out, just slides out. Install the bolt, get it tight now. And all we have to do, install the tire guys, and we'll show you how to do that in just a second. So now guys, okay, remove any wheel weights if you have, because we're going to rebalance it, and first we'll be installing a new tire, but second, I recommend to rebalance them, okay, unless you mark where your tire used to be. So let me clamp that wheel down. Perfect, now we'll go around. Okay, and we want to bring the valve stem about right here, guys. About 180 degrees from the starting point. Okay, like that. It's very important at that point, okay, to lubricate, okay, your tire really good. I mean, really, really good the bead and everything as well i will even recommend okay to lubricate okay right here that canal because that's where the tire seals and it will it will help it guys go on the wheel easier this tire says inside so it's directional tire as you can see right here so that needs to be on the inside you have to always double check that now we're going to lubricate that side And we're just using even soapy water, nothing, nothing expensive. Just don't get your TPMS sensor wet. Now, this is the outside of the tire. We're going to go ahead. Okay, put the arm down. And the TPMS sensor now, guys, should be the last thing to go. So, okay, you can see where it is now. I'm going to spin the tire, the wheel. 
perfect now I'm going to bring the valve stem again about 180 so the TPMS sensor is the first is the last thing to go excuse me perfect now we're going to release the wheel okay I'm going to inflate the tire and after that we'll show you guys how we're going to balance our tire now so stay away because it can pop really bad if something malfunctions it can kill you okay check it out now okay it's pretty loud so now all we have to do is just inflate it our says 35 on the car so always check yours what the recommendation is okay we're almost there so i'm going to go ahead install the valve stem core okay right there Recheck your pressure lighter again guys, make sure it's good. Now we're going to grab the wheel, okay, and right here now, okay, let me show you. I need to remove that cap now for the, for the help. So let's go ahead with something soft and big, but without the back side of a screwdriver works really, really good for that purpose. We need to find an adapter that fits. Get the wheel clamped down tight, really well, centered. Now we're going to measure the distance here according to that. It says around 50, perfect. Right here. The width of the wheel is seven inch. You can check on the inside of the wheel and it's a 16 inch wheel. So if I spin it now, Okay, we're going to set it to aluminum right here. So we need to put, okay, we need to put 125, okay, and one on the other side. So now I need to get my weight set, guys. Okay, get a cleaner, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So usually you can use a brake cleaner to clean the wheel really good where you need to apply this one, just have a minor dust. Okay, so I'm first going to wipe it. Okay, I'm spinning it until I get on the left side all the lights. Okay, like that. Okay, like right there. So that's where at 12 o'clock the weight needs to be at. So we're going just to spray a little bit of brake cleaner. Okay, that's it. Now I need to get five little weights. Okay, five will be 125. So we're going to install those now at 12 o'clock. Okay, I'm just going to position them like that, then pull them down to make sure I center them before I glue them. Perfect, and now I need to wipe on the inside where we need to put four weights. Okay, right there. So, I'm going to cut four weights now, guys. Let me get those now. Again, I need to make sure that I install them where exactly they need to be. So I just see where 12 o'clock is, then I move it and reposition them to where everything is nice. Situated. Let's hit start check it and see if we need to rebalance it again sometimes it may take a couple of times on aluminum wheels but usually it works really good zeros guys okay right there on the spot so that's it guys that's the whole procedure that's how you replace tpms sensor remove and install a tire hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to your channel and see you guys next time